she got extremely sick and stopped breathing. When she was rushed to the intensive care unit, they found that both her lungs were completely full of infection. Baby Anusha was just 18 days old when she caught whooping cough. And at that age, she had little chance of surviving. Why didn't you take a vaccine to protect you and your unborn baby? At the time, there was no program uh, available to vaccinate pregnant women. A couple of years later, the, the scheme to vaccinate pregnant women was introduced. And had that been available at the time when I was pregnant with my baby, I would have taken it in a heartbeat, no hesitation whatsoever, just to have prevented this horrible, horrible um, situation. Five babies in England have died with whooping cough amid a surge in cases. Between January and March 2024, there were over 2,700 whooping cough cases in England. But the year before, there were only 858 cases in total. And in infants under three months, there were 108 cases in the first three months of this year alone, compared to just 48 cases in the whole of last year. The only way these babies can really be protected is by their mothers having vaccination during pregnancy. So our message really is that that's, that's the thing for people to do. Pregnant women really must accept that offer of, of the vaccination in pregnancy. Whooping cough is more infectious than COVID-19. The bacteria that causes it has a very long infectious period. So when someone is infected, they can spread the bacteria for probably about two to three weeks. So that provides plenty of opportunities for transmission. Um, hence why we see such an infectious outcome and why we see big outbreaks like these that we have at the moment. Anusha survived against the odds. A simple vaccine will spare other parents the same trauma. Ashish Joshi, Sky News in central London.